There's no question that mobile screens are the wave of the future. In fact, 50% of Edmunds traffic comes from such devices. We have seen for a very long time that uh, mobile's the way of the future, uh, but that's a scary prospect uh, both for us and, um, and I think it should be for everybody. Uh, the reason is that, you know, that smaller screen and uh, the ways in which we've kind of solicited uh, quotes and advertising from people uh, doesn't really work quite the same way on mobile. So right now what we're seeing in terms of our own business, and then I'll talk about what we've learned from dealerships as well, is that uh, north of 25% of our visitors are uh, coming to our mobile website on a uh, handheld or on a phone. Uh, it's many, many more, certainly now in excess of 50% of uh, consumers on Edmunds.com that are accessing data using what we would consider to be mobile devices if we were to include kind of tablets and iPads and the like. So uh, what's interesting is, is that the patterns of usage or the way that people use these devices is completely uh, different. So iPad use is incredibly strong early in the morning and very late at night. So a lot of people we could see just looking in our data warehouse kind of like leave it on their nightstand and that's the device that they use to access. Mobile usage spikes like crazy on weekends. And the amazing thing that we've seen from people lo uh, opting into the location services that show you kind of the latitude and longitude and where they are in the United States, you know, when they opt in for um, enabling a provider to see the, um, the location of the user, is that 20% of mobile usage on Edmunds.com is within 200 feet of the dealership. Uh, so that's actually on the dealer lot. So in auto malls all around the United States, one in five of the people that come to our mobile website on a handheld are in the dealership. And the behavior of people in the dealership is completely different than the type of stuff that they access, whether it be on their iPads in the early morning at night or on their desktops when they're uh, browsing at work. We uh, are every day trying to figure it out. And uh, the, our, the key question that uh, we are answering for ourselves is how do we morph or change products that will help foster trust between consumers and dealers and actually make the transaction go more smoothly. What are the types of things that we could do to bring to bear to make that happen, um, as opposed to providing the type of data that would lead to um, things uh, unwinding or um, being more of a grind or being more difficult?